Welcome to the realm of astrology. This is your daily horoscope for June 18th, 2021, which is a Friday. Today, we're going to talk about a few things. But before we begin, I want to let you know that I do daily video horoscopes that I post on my YouTube channel every single day. I do weekly video horoscopes that I post every single week. And I also do monthly horoscopes that I post every single month, as well as monthly sun rising sign horoscopes that you can watch all on my channel. I would also request you to hit the subscribe button before we begin. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the moon. There's few other things that I will talk about which are not connected to the moon and that we haven't spoken about in some time. So we'll talk about those, but let's get started with the moon. The moon is here at zero degrees and this is 2 a.m. Pacific time almost. And the moon, this means the moon has changed signs. From Virgo, it has entered the sign of Libra. And the moon changes signs about two and a half days. And when it does, the energy in our life, the focus of our life shifts in some ways. But this shift is subtle. So for the past two and a half days, when the moon was in Virgo, we were focused on getting organized, getting planned focusing on our day-to-day -day reality, on our diet, on our health, on our routine. And now in Libra, we are going to be focused on relationships, on finding balance, because Libra is the scales. And that's going to be for the next two and a half days. And the moon in Libra is going to try and all this Gemini energy, it is going to try and Saturn will talk about this. So let's let's move on. Okay, moving on at about 4 a.m. Uh, wait, is it 4 a.m.? I think it is 9 a.m., sorry. 9 a.m. Pacific time. The moon is going to sextile Mars. The moon is right here and it is sextiling Mars. 60 degree angle. Now, this is a positive aspect in astrology. And a sextile typically means things are done easily. It facilitates things. And in this case, the moon, our emotions, our inner heart and soul, and Mars, our ego, our drive, our willpower, our courage, how we take action, are seen eye to eye. Emotionally and our courage, our strength, our drive, how we take action, all that is feeling in sync. Emotionally, we are feeling ready to take action. Emotionally, we are feeling like we have self-discipline. Emotionally, we a feeling like, yeah, I can do this. I can do this now. I can take that action. So that's what's happening at about 9 a.m. Pacific time. And then the moon's going to move on. And let me clean up the chart first. The moon's going to move on and we're going to have a grand trine in air today. So let's see that happen, okay? And, okay. Let's move on to this and let's see it at this point. So this is about 11 p.m., almost towards the end of the day. The moon at 12 degrees will trine Saturn, 120 degree angle. It will also trine the North Node. I know it's not exact, but it is still a trine two degree orb. So it's going to trine the North Node and the North Node here is trining Saturn. So this is a grand trine all 120 degree angles between these planets. And this, and a trine 120 degree angle is, a, is an aspect that facilitates things. It's positive. It's very easy to make things happen with a trine. It doesn't feel like any effort. And in this case, let's talk about the trines. Saturn trining the moon. Saturn is the disciplinarian, it's the authoritarian, it's hard work, it's decisions. And when it trines the moon, it becomes easy for us to define our emotions, to take an emotional decision. And this could very well be connected to relationships and it could be very well connected to the life that we are building, the life that we have been building since December of 2020. And then let's talk about the other aspect not no trying the moon. At this point, emotionally, we may feel very positive about where we are headed, the North Node. North Node is where we are headed, our goals. In, in a trine, we may be feeling very positive about that. Things may be falling into place, connected to our goals, which makes us feel positive emotionally. And then let's talk about the more, more important aspect, which is Saturn trining the North Node. 
Now we've had Saturn trying the North Node for a long time, at least from April, if not longer. And Saturn trying the North Node to me means that whatever goals we are moving towards, they are for the long run because Saturn is a planet of the long run and Saturn is a builder. So it's helping us build those goals for the long run. So this moment right here with the grand trine is very positive. Our emotions, our goals, the life we are building for the long run seems to fall into place in some ways. And the Saturn, hang on, let me clean up the chart for a moment. The Saturn North Node trine is something like I mentioned we have been witnessing. And this is why we are slowly but surely building for the future. It's helping us set that base. Yeah. And let's also talk about a few other aspects that have been going on, but I haven't spoken them about in a while, about them in a while. And I think it's important to mention it from time to time. And the first thing is that the Chiron here is also in a sextile to the North Node which means that as we move towards our goals, we will find some healing in ourselves, in our identity, in our consciousness. And that's been happening in the background for a couple of months as well. And we also have Saturn, uh, Uranus here, semi-sextile, the North Node. And in some ways, this to me means that whatever goals we are moving towards, they are quite unexpected for us. We didn't expect these to be our goals. They are unconventional. Or maybe they came out, came into your life out of nowhere. And these, these unex, unexpected goals, like I said, will have a healing effect. Sextile to Chiron. And let me also talk about one more thing today. That Saturn right here has been sextiling Chiron. It's been going on for a couple of months at least. I think it started in Feb, even before, but Feb for certain. And this is also a healing to our identity. As we take decisions, as we define things in our life, we will heal our identity. As we build, as we build towards our goals, Saturn, Trine, the North Node, which are unconventional, unexpected, out of the blue, semi-sextile to Uranus, they will heal our identity and all this is happening in the background as we move from one day to the next to the next. And I have been talking about the Saturn-Uranus square, Saturn-Uranus, 90 degree angle, most important event of 2021, all about getting rid of old things that don't serve you, embracing the new and finding your uniqueness. All this is happening in the background as we move through 2021. And another thing that I want to mention, which has been going on for many, many, a long, long time, actually, a long, long time, is that Pluto and Neptune here are in a sextile. Now, this is positive because Pluto is our subconscious and Neptune is our spirituality. And in a sextile, our subconscious and spirituality need to align. If they align, our subconscious feel, feels good. And if our subconscious is clear, our spirituality feels good. Somehow these two are very connected because these two are in a sextile. And yeah, moving on. Moving on. I do want to mention that it's the 18th today. On 20th, the sun will change signs. We will sh see a shift in energy. On the 20th, Jupiter will also go retrograde. We will also see a shift in energy. And on June 22nd, Mercury will come out of retrograde, which means that any confusion that we might have been feeling, any kind of uh, lack of clarity or any kind of slowdown in communication or gadgets malfunctioning will begin to ease off as Mercury goes direct after June 22nd. And... Yeah, I'll give you a little bit of background now, very briefly, three things we'll talk about. The first is the Saturn-Pluto conjunction, Saturn-Pluto. They meet up once in 33 to 38 years and they met up in Jan 2020, which means they started a new cycle that will stay with us till 2053. 
And this cycle that began was very powerful and it changed our material reality in some ways. And the second thing I would like to talk about is the Saturn-Jupiter conjunction. These two met up in December of 2020 and they also started a new 20 year cycle. And in the next two years, we will build this, the foundation for the, the next 20 years. These are the two things done. And the last thing I want to talk about are the nodes. The North Node is in Gemini, right here. And the South Node is in Sagittarius, right here. They were in Gemini and Sag, North Node in Gemini, South, uh, South Node in Sag between 2001 and 2003. So the nodes are karmic. So oftentimes it happens that certain themes, certain situations, certain people make their way back into your life when the nodes are in the same placement. And that might be happening since May of 2020. And the purpose of this is for you to either close those cycles out, build, build on them further, or just review them and let them go. So that's all I'm going to say for the background. And now I will pick a card for the day. So let's see. As unfinished symphony. I think we got this card two days ago as well. And I think this is the fact that we are still building for the long run for the cycles until 2053, 2040, 2032, and we are in the building phase. There's something, it's unfinished, it's not done yet. And today is another day where we will be working towards that and the grand shrine and air, the positive angles of today the moon sextiling the Mars will give us a positive boost towards that building process. I will pick another card for today. Let's look at this. Regeneration. And I, I think this ties into the theme of closing out the old cycles, starting the new cycles. We are transforming, we are regenerating, we are changing, and it's not complete the process. It will take time, but we are, we are in the process. That's all I leave you with. If you like this video, please do subscribe, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.